Welcome back to the Beast Inside. We're still trying to track down Maria in the swamp. The, the swamp witch, I think. And I feel like we're pretty close to them. I also feel like there's a boss fight coming. I just feel like it. I don't know, but it just feels like it. Someone nailed Maria's dog here to scare her? I just hope she herself is alive. That is really fucked up and makes me really angry. Also, this, um, this arrow is the same one that we saw in the person in the mine. Probably came from the same person. Feels like a boss arena to me. No one has lived here for years. The woman claims she knew our family's dark secret. I have no idea what the hell she meant, but maybe there's something left. Some records, anything. I'll search the place while I'm here. Huh, the Hyde's days are numbered. They'll regret they skimped a few bucks for me when my no good husband kicked the bucket. And I ain't asked for much, because I'm a simple and modest woman. I ain't got a penny, even though it's a long time since the family... Uh, since that family owes me. Ever since that old fart, father of old Hyde, hit me so hard I miscarried. Today, there's that detective coming, and I will sing it all. He could feel it. The Hydes are sneaky bastards, and he'll have evidence. Thank you, O oh Lord. I'm starting to get confused. Did my grandfather really do something to Maria? Is that why she was so down on our family? She said she would tell everything, but didn't mention any hard evidence. Did she really see my father kill someone, or was she going to make something up just to bring about his downfall? There's still so much that I don't know. Always love invitations to enter a room inside of a haunted house. Like, yes, please, this way next. I can't interact with any of these drawers. Abner. You! Uh. How dare you come here! Go away! In the name of Christ, be gone, Satan! Uh. 
Oh no! Ah! <laughs> no, I pressed the wrong button. Hmm. It's a funny kind of failure. Because basically all I did is just like stare at the ghost run at me and not do anything. You! How? That's not the way! Before I leave, I should look for some kind of written record. Maria might have left notes about the events from the past. I just need to make sure she doesn't see me. Ain't gave me no penny, the greedy bastard. And he set that judge of his on me, too. He came here and said if I keep bothering them, I'll be sorry. So what am I to do? That old drunkard, my late husband, may he never rest in peace, gave up any claims of compensation in his contract. Sold him for a few bottles if I know him, but they better not try to scare me. I told the judge I know it all. The blast in the mine was regular murder, and the hides are always scheming and scamming. I'll never forget what Jacob's father did to me, and now I can see Jacob is a hundred times worse. The judge only laughed, but I won't let him get away with it. My father not only didn't pay any compensation, but he also made Norton bully that poor woman. No wonder we mostly had enemies around here, rather than friends and neighbors. Ooh. Escape the Lord's punishment. Your sins will be revealed. I do not like how these boards look. Those look very insecure. Don't fall. Please don't fall. level, but I don't think they are. Draft of Maria's letter to detective. To Mr. Walter Gilman, dear sir, I saw your ad about... Something. Looking for the missing John Norton. I may be a simple peasant. Uh, we saw the completed message, didn't we? Yeah, we saw the completed message of at least this first part. Tell you everything, but only face to face. This looks a little bit different. When you learn the hide secret, nothing will ever be the same. They were hiding it well, but I saw it. I saw what crept out at night from the basement of their house. All covered in the blood of victims. Wild didn't look human at all. It's old Hyde's spawn, I'm sure. That family always had a beast in their heart, but now it got outside. I know where it takes those it captures. I saw the beast drag them there. You must come here and listen to me before it's too late. You need to follow the river from the mine. My house is near the swamp. There, now I need to rewrite it and give it to him. And when he comes, you'll know the secrets the, the, secrets the Hyde's have. Uh, um, I'll tell him that old son of a bitch Hyde has more than one son, which nobody knows because they keep the other one locked up. He wears, blotted out, a top hat and a mask. Oh, we have another son? I mean, we, we, what? We have a brother? 
Lord, take their souls. Take their souls and may they burn in hell. May they burn in hell, Lord. Lord, take their souls. Wait, I just go in a circle. Lord, give me salvation from their evil, for you know what they have done. For oh, no, I didn't. Broken rosary. A rosary. Someone has broken it. Oh, there's blood on there. Did someone try to strangle her with this rosary? If your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. Lord, take their souls. Take their souls and may they burn in hell. May they burn in hell, Lord. Lord, take their souls. I just know I'm going to fall through this at some point. Just a question of when. Damn. The door's locked. I can't lockpick it. Mia always has the key on her. Maybe if I'm careful enough, I can steal it from her. Good lord. <laughs> this must be the way out. But I should search the house and find the remaining notes before I get out of here. That I'm just a blind old witch and no one would believe me. Hell on wheels, those damned hides. What a... What a wicked family. Holy mother of God, only you can understand me. I always wanted to be a good person that wishes harm on no one, but I ain't got so much mercy in my heart to turn the other cheek to those sons of bitches. When there was a blast in the mine and my boozer husband got buried there, I ain't asked for no more than a small compensation. And what I get? What I got? I had no idea my father wouldn't pay damages after the accident. We were no millionaires. It wasn't a gold mine, but I think we could afford to help the victim's families. This must be the last note. Time to leave. This is just an abandoned house. Something terrible has happened here. I can feel it. The evil here is palpable. That woman has been dead for a long time. And she won't rest until she kills me. I must get out of here as fast as I can. This is one way. How do I get back up? I don't know. We gotta go down. Let's go. Okay, the game just saved, so... That's good. I have 136 matches. Do you think that's enough? freaking navigation patterns. This is going to be really hard. Oops, I didn't mean to take that. That actually might be a good thing, because then I can hide down here. Prayer. I pray to thee. Uh. Give me salvation. Don't you feel safe? God will get you. You lousy scum, two-faced bastards, traitors, scoundrels, and cheapskates, God will get you. And may the judge drop dead along with the hides. May all their cursed families suffer sevenfold retribution. Give them a curse like Cain's, O oh Lord. May they and their children and their children's children pay for what happened in Blackstone. What they did in the dark. May it be made known, O oh Lord. Maria was a fanatic, but when I think about what happened to my family, I wonder if she prayed for us to be punished. I prayed not to God, but to the devil. Hmm. 
They're in here. They're not walking around, they're kind of like jogging from place to place. That makes this a lot harder. Lord, take their souls. Take their souls. May they burn in hell. May they burn in hell, Lord. Lord, take their souls. They were there for a while, though, hanging out here. Maybe, maybe if I stay here and they come back, I can sneak around, like from here, and try to pickpocket them. I don't know. Or maybe they'll just see me. Holy shit, I can't believe that worked. Okay, now we need to find a way out, and I can't go the way I came down. Lord, take their souls. Take their souls, and may they burn in hell. May they burn in hell, Lord. Lord, take their souls. I'm going to wait for them to go back to that room where I was, and then I'm going to head where they are now, like off to the left from this doorway. Yes. Okay. Oh. I'm half safe. from down there. Let's get the shit out of me. We're fine, though. Jesus. I, I think I'll wait for the scary music to disappear, though. <laughs> Any time now? I'm not safe here. I need to get out of this damned swamp. Looks like she tried to defend herself with this cross. Apparently it didn't help much. I just know they're gonna burst through the door as we get out of here. Yo! <laughs> what have you seen? Tell me! Who killed those people? Who blew up the mine? What is my family's secret? Tell me! It wasn't old Hyde. The detective was wrong. It was him who killed the devil himself! Wherever there's violence and tragedy, there's you. Wait! Stop! You hear me? Did Nicholas just torture a ghost? The fuck? Who are you, for God's sake? If it wasn't my father, then who and why 
Why did he do it? Who is he? Why did he kidnap and murder? What does it have to do with me and my family? Damn, holy yeah, shit. Behind that mask. This time, I can't let him get away. Did you see how fast they were going against the current? I don't even... I don't even know if... I'm not convinced we'd even be able to hand paddle against the current at all. That's some fast-moving water. I had a brush with death, waking up at the bottom of a fucking well next to a corpse. What's more, I also found some disturbing evidence. Emma called in a sheriff, and in his car, I came across proof that Nicholas Hyde and I come from the same family line. I've had enough of these mysteries and goddamn mind games. I have to finally separate the facts from fantasy. Oh, fuck! Don't do this to me now! Stop! This is cool, we gotta find a way out. Is this open? Fuck. Door handle? Break glass? What was that? What did we just pick up? Ah! <coughs> we have a body in our back seat? A couple bodies? Ugh. Do guns shoot underwater? I don't remember. Apparently they do. In this universe, anyway. Son of a bitch! I never thought he would do something like that. It's not just the keys and the messages. He wants to get rid of me. Emma, she stayed at home and he's there with her. how detailed all these rocks are. Anyway, we should be running. Thematically, we should be running. The house. Emma. Just a little more. I can do it. I have to. Emma? Emma, are you here? Where did he drag her? Our basement? Why? They went this way. He knows this house better than I do.
I can't make heads or tails of this anymore. If that masked man isn't my father, but my father's killer, then who is he? Who harmed all those people? Did my father have another child? A bastard son whom he kept hidden from the world? It's time to finally rip that mask off his face. Who are you? You won't deceive me anymore. We end this today! How is that possible? What's happening to me? That's really cool. Judge Norton. Why am I seeing him again? Poor old scoundrel. I never wished you well, Norton. But this... It was him, Jacob. It, it was him. Who? In the mine. That was also him. I'll get you out of here, and you'll tell me everything. Hold on. Uh, this way, quickly. I told you time and time again, you snot, you can't come in here! This is a job for grown men! They go deep underground, drilling and sweating away in the dark to extract the ore from the earth. You only get in their way! What? Why does it all come back to me? I must. I must get out of here. It sounded like I was a kid. I was young again. Oh, I don't know if I want to go down there. Probably not. Holy shit. There's two floors. Or we're just straight up on the ceiling. Oh, that's so weird. Really messes with my head to look up like this. Ugh. I should be able to pry the hatch open with this somehow and get the hell out of here. What hatch?
Let's just look back to the same room. Do they all go back to the same room? <laughs> I think they do. Then we go down. Now we're on the proper side. We're actually on the floor now. want to sit in the dark? Do you like breaking rules? Forgive me, Father. It won't happen again. Where to now? Up. I'm sorry! Don't be sorry, Nicholas. He will be sorry. What? Who's there? We have to help each other. The whole world is against people like us. It's all my fault. No, it's not. It's their fault. And they will pay. Your old man and the others. No, no, no. We cannot think that way. We can do anything. Ever since he said you ruined his life, since he started to lock you up in here, I deserved it. He cheated on her, did you know? And he didn't want her to have you, the most respected son of a bitch in Blackstone. Stop it, you're confusing me. It's time for revenge. First, I will fuck up the mine. What do you say? I know where the old man keeps the dynamite boxes. That's right. This is my chance. Scene. You fucking brat! Father, I didn't do it! Stay away from my inn, Nicholas! Don't scare off the guests! Don't steal from the rooms! But I've never, I swear to God! How dare you take his name in vain! You have no God in your heart, you damn little shit! Said a hustler with a heart of shit. It's not just things disappearing in this inn, but the guests too. You were supposed to help me, not get me in trouble! People are trouble. You will see that when you finally open your eyes. Now it's time for me to open fire. You're back, Nicholas. You knew you couldn't escape punishment. Father? Up the mine! Murdered all those people! John was right! Don't come any closer! Stay away! Huh! 
I remember seeing that hatch <clears throat> when we were exploring the inn before. I thought I looked important. My father he has tried to kill me even though he had already died. I know how it might sound, but I'm not out of my mind. It happened for real. The inn, the flames, my father. I felt again like a child whose soul was torn into a million pieces and then stitched back together only to bring the never-ending suffering. I only felt that way when he was close to me, so I was sure it was him again. Now I'm in the basement. I've managed to escape and hid here, but there's no way out from this place. Or maybe there is. I can hear some noises behind the wall. <coughs> is this really happening? What's going on? Where's that voice coming from? Is this happening right now? Adam! Adam! Emma! Emma, are you here? My mind. Is it real? Or is it just my imagination? I'm hearing things that don't exist. over. You can't get away. Hear me. You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me why? The question is, why did you do it? He hurt you, I know. And I opened your eyes, and then you saw... Your father's reflection in every human being. A world full of beasts in human disguises. No one was innocent. Evil was eating at their consciences like a cancer. And who do you think you are to decide if they deserve to die? They certainly didn't deserve to live. They... Just think about it. Your father's partner, that old crook, desperate to get rid of us. The detective, a vulture, feeding on the tragedy of commoners. Sophia, a miner's widow and a vicious bigot who wished everyone all the worst. And last but not least, the judge, a grafter, and a regular scoundrel. I've seen worse. 
Right, your father. A true role model for that small community. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them... I protected us, don't you see? I saved your life. Or maybe you're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me? In that fucking darkness, the old man would be pissing on your grave, and all of fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread, and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you a lunatic. So what? There must be another way. Like what? You'll wash your hands of it all? You'll hide from humanity in a fucking cave? You'll fall back into madness like the last time? You'll tell the doctors you don't remember anything? Really? If you get rid of me, they'll squash you like a bug. You think you can just snap your fingers and I'll be gone? Damn, this is the moral choice of the decade. Deny the evil personality, except true nature. I'm sorry, I really, really don't like where the story is going. I knew it was going somewhere I wouldn't like, but just, oh my god. But, more thoughts later. I'm just curious what's gonna happen. I, I don't really have any particular investment in either option. Uh, except true nature? Sure. I'm the one to blame. I won't deny it. It's time to accept the truth about myself. However terrifying it might be. There's a line now between you and me. You've become my prisoner. Better start cooperating. What are you talking about? What are you trying to achieve? I'm the one asking questions here. Name. What kind of sick game is this? Emma, for fuck's sake. Emma. Emma Stevens. Really? Nadia Kamayeva. In the 60s, you underwent training in one of the KGB centers in Russia. Did you or did you not? What? What training? Where's my husband? Adam! <gasps> We've recovered part of the report. Maybe all that she told me was a lie. The KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? Where did you get this? Who sent you? She refused to talk. But she doesn't deny the allegations. What have... What have you done to me? Adam! You! Why? What happened to you? Ten years together. And you've been pretending all this time. Adam, what happened to you? Why are you talking like that? Nicholas was my great-great-grandfather. Would you believe it? His diary opened my eyes. You have to be very careful about who you trust. The world is full of beasts. Stop it! You're delusional! It's me. You hear me? I'm your wife. We're expecting a baby. Remember? And war... War creates front lines even in our homes. In our bedrooms. Anyone can be the bad guy. But sometimes... Please. Damn, this is the second biggest moral choice of the decade. Um... I don't want to make any of these choices. 
I, I guess. I guess. Uh, like, if I kill Emma, then. <laughs> not really feeling the violence against women thing, you know? But also the suicide thing, not really feeling that either. Uh I'm curious what's going to happen. I'm going to kill Emma. Sometimes it's the one we love that turns out to be the beast. No! Well, I guess it wasn't very surprising what happened. Killed Emma. So, let's end with some thoughts on The Beast Inside. An extremely unrealistically charitable read of the themes of The Beast Inside would be that there's some sort of a, a force, some kind of demonic evil force that is, has been possessing Nicholas and now Adam. However, the more realistic one, the one that I feel is actually what the game was really going for is uh, basically that Nicholas was broken by abuse from their father and being kept in isolation and in the dark. And then I feel like what the game is saying happened is that Nicholas went crazy and they developed multiple personalities. One that was a beast, a serial killer that the other one, the other personality wasn't even aware of. And they spent 10 years in a mental institution and don't understand what reality is. And, you know, they have a secret side job as a serial killer. <laughs> it just... That's really, really crappy about men mental illness for a multitude of reasons. One is that it doesn't show any sort of respect or caring for people with mental illness. It just exploits the concept as a cool thing for a horror game. Another is that it stigmatizes people with mental illness as being violent. In this case, in the extreme, because they're a serial killer that wears a creepy mask and goes around macheteing people. Yeah, I just feel real bad about the whole story. It just makes me really uncomfortable. The Beast Inside's biggest weakness by far is the writing, because of all the reasons I just mentioned, and just the characterization and the story itself is, is really weak and uninteresting to me, and the characters are very unsympathetic as well. Adam is such a both obnoxious and boring character all at the same time. But if we push all of that aside, which is a big ask because it's a huge part of the game, of course, but if we push all of that aside, there's also so much that I like. The Beast Inside is utterly gorgeous. God, the way scenes are lit, the incredible amount of detail, uh, the way it switches effortlessly from incredibly beautiful interiors that are really moody to incredibly beautiful and not creepy, but actually like happy and kind of serene outside locations is wonderful. And the physics interactions that you do to move around and open doors and just do things in general. And the way you can pick up items and examine them and flip them around and look at them in really close, extreme detail. That's all wonderful. I mean, the physics interactions are not the most polished things. They're kind of a little bit rough, but I really don't mind that that much. It's just such a joy to actually be doing the opening of a door and to be in control of how much you open it and how fast you open it and actually doing the sawing motions and actually pushing a lever and just all that stuff really was a joy. 
I have a real love-hate relationship with the beast inside. I intensely dislike certain parts of it and also intensely like certain parts of it. But regardless of that, overall I really enjoyed my time with it. Thanks for watching.